we have Australia's largest range of tyre brands and sizes. Find a cheaper identical tyre locally stocked and we'll beat it. At Bob Jane T-Marts, we'll look after you. Football here at Lakeside Stadium, and it is a mouth-watering clash. South Melbourne hosting Hume City. It was a very tight game between these two sides earlier in the season. South needing the three points here to ensure they will stay on top of the table at the end of the round. The draw will also be good enough, but they'll want to maintain that three-point buffer with Bentley next week. That's right, David, and the minute silence observed between the two sides for the passing of a South Life member during the week. Yes, you're right, it's going to be a very difficult match tonight. A draw, not the worst result in the world with Bentley coming up. However, a win would be absolutely uh, vital and important for the club as well. And we chance Kachoyevich on the corner, enjoying his spell back in the side, and Miller! Great cross by Kachoyevic. Matty Miller timed his run nicely. He was just about an inch or so away there from getting the right connection. Nice corner from Kachoyevic and the incoming uh, Miller meets the ball but unfortunately can't direct his header under the crossbar and it goes out for a goal kick. Chopped off there by Matthew Miller. Plays that one backwards. Now Adams, oh poor pass from Adams. Danger here, chance for Carly. Good save for Gunovic. Off his line quickly and Luke Adams can mop up from his mistake. Well that was dangerous moments there early from South. Now Rashepi's run into trouble there in the form of Kachoyevic plays it, quick ball, Epifano, good chance here for Milos Lee, through 1-1, one, one. oh good save there from Oldfield, he came off his line quickly, maybe a bit of a heavy touch there from Milos Lujic. Heavy touch from Milos Lujic but a good block as well from Oldfield and down the other end Raganovic has made a good save as well so both keepers getting into the action nice and early. Oldfield, no nonsense just delivering that one nice and long and high and that's why because a chance for Craig Carley. Well, it fell nicely for him from the long ball initially. Blocked off by Luke Adams and can't get it on target. Kachoyevich contesting with Rama. Kachoyevich goes in again. Kachoyevich, in fact, it'll be Epifano on the right foot. Nick Epifano, good time and space there. Probably need to do better with that one. Now wide now. And an opportunity played in towards the centre. That's a dangerous ball. It was bobbling around. Kale couldn't do anything with it. Now an opportunity, Markellis. Markellis with the chip, great save, Raganovic. Nearly caught off his line there, Markellis. It was a lovely attempt, but Raganovic awake to it and tips it over the bar. Well, Raganovic slightly off his line there and a very cheeky attempt there from the edge of the area by Markellis, but uh, Raganovic scrambling back, tips that over for a corner. Oldfield adopting that long ball again. And why not with some of the tall targets he's got up front? Karoma gets that away from Carly. Marla can't clear it completely. It's played across opportunity and it's gone in. It came originally from Markellis. A nice dangerous ball played in. Trocheski with the finish. It looked like Raganovic got a finger to it. In off the post. A nice shot. Hume City. Well, they've stunned South Melbourne. They lead 1-0. Well, it's been a pretty even game so far, but Hume obviously uh, edged the uh, the lead here. And it's a nice uh, nice ball from Markellis at the edge of the box, playing through Christian Trocheski. He has the shot, which Raganovic gets a hand to it, and he deflects that onto the post. But unfortunately for South, it goes in off the inside of the post. Almost most a very good save there from the goalkeeper. You see there, Markellis playing Trocheski through the left-footed shot. Raganovic gets the glove to it, but it goes in off the post. 1-0 to Hume. Oldfield punching that one up. Looking for the tall targets like Carly and Kale. Kale goes up against Karoma. Amadou Karoma does better for the moment. Oh, Marla let it sit there. His clearance didn't quite deal with it. Fell to Cahill, but couldn't get his shot on target. The header clear. Nice work there by Fashini. Now Karoma. Amadou Karoma goes running. Still going Karoma. Flicks that ball in. Schroen, great header. Off the post, here's Leach, and it's gone wide. Unbelievably, it's gone wide. That looked goal bound for sure. Two chances somehow not going in, John. Well, a great cross from Amadou Karoma from the right hand side there. Fantastic header as well from, uh, from Marcus Schroen there. Unfortunately, hits the post, doesn't fall quite right from Milos Luch, and in the end, the ball is out. No goal for South, Hume winning 1-0. One, one bobbling up on the wing there, and uh, oh, they've been opened up here at the back. Carly's through one-on-one. -on -one. Out comes Raganovic. Raganovic does really nicely, takes that away from the feet of Craig Carly, and he's not happy for some reason. Craig Carly, oh, he's in a bit of a spat there with Raganovic. 
Not quite sure what's going on here, but I think you'll find it will be a yellow card for Craig Carley. And they do Karoma. Karoma has a look. Goes wide. Now sits for Miller. Miller plays that one in. That was surely a handball. Yes, it was, says the referee. No hesitation. Points straight to the spot. A nice ball in from Karoma. Dangerous cross from Matty Miller. The defender not able to deal with it. It hits the hand. He points to the spot. Yeah, and you'll see here, I don't think it is Frangich there, where it does hit the hand. The referee's in a good position. He points to the penalty spot, and it's Milos Lujic with the spot kick. Up steps Milos Lujic. The stuttered run up, and a beautiful finish. 1-1 one, one just before half time. Milos Lujic from the spot. He picked it nicely, bottom right corner. Sent old field the wrong way, and South Melbourne hit back just on the stroke of half time. Couldn't be more important. Nice penalty from Milos Lujic, uh, waiting to see which, which side Oldfield dies before flicking the ball the other side of him uh, to the goalkeeper's left and into the back of the net, like you see there, waiting for the goalkeeper to commit before placing the ball at the other end. Nice penalty and South going to the Sheds, 1-1 at half time with Hume. Schroen, or charged down by his opponent, but pinballs back. Schroen couldn't win at that time, Fashini can though. Fashini puts that high. Norton's on side, and he's got Luic in the middle. Norton plays that one. Chance for Epifano, and the shot blocked. Couldn't get his right foot to it quick enough. There's an opportunity here for Hume. Sending numbers forward, but the really great defensive pressure there from South forcing them back. That's a nice ball forward for Michaelis. Great save, Raganovic, but the flag was up. Well, it was a nice header and a nice save, but it wouldn't have counted anyway. Oldfield punches that one high. Get some real hang time on his uh, goal kicks tonight. And Zamadou Karoma comes across. Now an opportunity, Cahill out wide. Cahill gets onto the left foot. Cahill goes across the face of goal. And that one bouncing out wide for a goal kick. Dangerous moments there perhaps from the Hume attackers. And that one's gonna be chopped off by Luke Adams. Only as far as Rashepi. Sheppy's ball forward, Adams hasn't dealt with it. Dangerous moments here, humour in, they've got numbers. Kale's in the middle and a great save by Raganovic. Probably should have given the cross there, John in the end went for the shot. Yes, yeah, so another good save from Raganovic and we'll see if from this angle the best. Uh, Luke Adams allowing his, uh, his marker to get past him and uh, unfortunately for Hume they don't convert that into a goal. Good save from Raganovic. Well, a substitution being made, the captain coming onto the park in place of Amadou Karoma. Andy Kachoyevich comes off for a rest. On comes Manolo up front. Pafano's corner played in. Eager! Eager gets his header in and it was deflected, I think, off uh, Tom Cahill. Michael Eager looking at the referee there, maybe indicating possibly a handball. Well, it was a good header from uh, Michael Eager initially. And, oh, well, Tom Cahill there with the uh, hands up, the ball striking the hand there. The referee awarding a corner, not thinking about a penalty at all. Schroen's corner. Knocked away initially at Pafano. Keeps possession. Norton flicks that one high. Here's Manolo. Manolo keeps his balance. Plays a short ball in, chance, Epifano, right foot, Epifano plays it in. He wanted Luke Adams there, who's still hanging around up forward from the corner, and no, no corner, says the referee. That one played high and long. Opportunity now. Schroen uses his body well. Schroen. Now Norton. Norton dealt with there after he lost it. Advantage, says the referee. Here's Schroen with the shot on the right foot, sends that one flying. The intent was good. In fact, it was Manolo, I apologise. Manolo with the shot there. Short corner played in. Epifano tries to be clever, wants Schroen. and this might backfire for South because they're out here, Hume. They're out and they're dangerous. And now comes Markellis. Marla tries to chop it off, can't reach it. Markellis through one-on-one, -on -one. goes around. Opportunity, open goal. In fact, here comes Well, What a brilliant effort by Fashini. He charged back from midfield. He got there before Markellis could put the shot away. Well, that is just outstanding defensive effort, John. Great defensive effort from, uh, from Fashini here. Really scrambling back to clear this off. I don't know how this didn't go in, David. Really poorly done from the corner from south. And it allows him to break away on a counter-attack. And uh, Markellis trying to go in at the near post there. A brilliant stop from Fashini. Miller. Now they've got some space in front. Miller goes central. Luyic out wide. Manolo. Rama comes to cut it off. Manolo keeps his feet. Done really nicely. Manolo. Left foot cross. Chance for Luyic. It's a goal. South 2-1. Unbelievable 
Manolo, great counter-attack. Absolutely outstanding work out wide by Manolo. Milos Lujic, well, he doesn't miss from there, John. Oh, the relief for the South players with just over 10 minutes to go, they have the lead. That's a brilliant goal as well, uh, and you called it uh, perfectly, David. Manolo, the substitute, another attacking option up front for South. The South will look good with him on as well. He uh, wins the ball before Rama can, can get there, turns Rama inside out, and then fires an inch-perfect cross to the feet of Milos Lujic. Any centre forward in the world would love that service, David, and Milos Lujic just standing on the spot. As you see there, he's just calling for it. It's delivered to him on a plate, and he just helps that over Oldfield and into the back of the net. That looks uh, a lot easier than it is, David. That is a very, very good finish from Milos Lujic. South with the 2-1 lead with 10 minutes to go. Let's see if we can hold on. Well, what do Hume do from here? They need to push. It's been a very tight contest. And they played a quick ball forward here. And uh, Luke Adams has been caught. Walker, ball played in. Chance across the face. It's it for Mark Ellison. Can you believe it? Right from the kickoff. The South lead lasts less than a minute. Mark Ellis scores. He lets the South fans know about it. Well, they are stunned here at Lakeside, John. It is a dangerous time just after you score, and we have copped it literally straight away. Oh, it's the worst time for, to concede, isn't it? Straight from the kickoff, him working the ball to the far side. It's a substitute, Daniel Clark, which uh, gets past, I think, Luke Adams there. And uh, Walker um, helps that on to Mark Ellis at the back post. He's unmarked at the back post. It's gone through Tim Marler's legs there. I'm not sure if Tim Marler was leaving that uh, or not, but it's gone through his legs. Straight to Mark Ellis. He doesn't need a second opportunity then. Just buries that pass for Gunovic for 2-2. Two, two. Mark Ellis. Well, Hume, could they steal a late winner here? The ball's played through. Carly 1-1. One one. That'll be offside. He was uh, a couple of metres behind the fence there in South, taking the free kick quickly. Eager gets things going. Well, they'd feel robbed if they couldn't try and get a win here, South. And they might be able to steal the lead back with Epifano. Epifano, it was a beautiful long ball to him. Probably had a bit more time than he thought there. And he didn't get his finish right. Up high. And really is going end to end at the moment. You just wonder if uh, this could really come down to a crucial moment. And that's a foul there on uh, Marcus Schroen by Big Tom KL. Marcus Schroen not happy with that. And Franjic is coming a long way to remonstrate with Marcus Schroen. I'm not sure why, but Franjic doesn't appear happy. Well, it was Schroen who was fouled initially, and this is really turning into something here, John. This is really boiling over. This is becoming a problem. Tim Marler has a, a huge problem there with Hargreaves. I'm not really sure. Eventually, he's been dragged away by a couple of uh, his former teammates there. Or Sheppy's got him. And, John, this is really boiling over. Well, I'm not, I'm not sure, quite frankly, why Franjic has come in there uh, and gotten involved. It was a foul. By Cahill on um, on Schroen. Schroen uh, wanting a yellow card for, for the striker. And Frankie's just coming out of nowhere and just sparked this. I'm not sure why he's done that. Zoran Markovsky on the bench getting involved as well. And it's uh, not very good scenes here at Lakeside Stadium. Things need to calm down as both teams search for a winning goal. Uh, I would imagine a yellow card will be given to Frankie and um, one to Cahill. And uh, we can get on with this. Well, there's the yellow card to uh, Frankie, as you've called it, John. And uh, well, he's giving a yellow card to Schroen as well, who was, of course, the. Uh the recipient of the foul initially, and he's pulled out a red card, Tim Marler. Well, John, that is quite incredible. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what he's seen. Tim Marler certainly was getting involved. He seems to be indicating that he feels like he's punched him. Um, Zoran Markowski as well has been sent to the stands, and Zoran Markowski, well, that's really tacky. We just don't need to see that in the game. Mark Ellis lays the free kick deep. They've got an extra man here, Hume, and they look to make it pay, but... The header has gone wide there. In the south, they probably would be satisfied with the draw here, given they have to play the last few minutes with uh, a man short. But Matt Miller, that's a great run. Really digging in Miller. Miller goes high. Once Leach won't reach him. They don't have the advantage of the extra man in the box. That's a fantastic track back there by Epifano to win it for Schroen. Now Norton. Could they steal something against the odds here? Ball played in. It's come across the face. Chance. Epifano's had a clean off the line. Rama got in the way last second, and they dodge a bullet there, Hume. Oh, fantastic opportunity for South to uh, to take the lead against all odds here with 10 men. Uh, good ball in, I think, from Norton. Manolo um, getting uh, flicking the header on, and uh, Epifano helping it onto the far post, but Rama's there to clear it off the line. Good opportunity for South. And the header not dealing with it, and it'll come straight back through Marcus Schroen up against his old side. Schroen, low ball in, flicked up. Manolo, well, was that a foul there? Rama jumped on the back of Manolo. Manolo kept his feet, and that might have saved Rama there, because that could have been a penalty. 
And uh, it hasn't been dealt with completely here. Ball play through, lovely ball play, he gets a Lujic. And Milos Lujic, I think he might have got the side of his foot to it there because he didn't get that one on target like he usually would. Well, David, with, uh, with one less man, South are really performing really well here. And that's a brilliant ball to set up Lewis from Michael Eager. Oldfield rushing out, uh, distracts Lewis, and unfortunately for South, Lewis drags his shot wide of the far post. Well, Reshepi, Hume, they've probably been a little bit behind the eight ball since they had the extra man, but they charge forward now. Markellis isn't going to get another go at that. And Luke Adams, well, he's got space in front of him. Now Manolo, he's looked dangerous already tonight. Manolo turns in nicely, great balance, gets around his marker. Tees it up, chance now, Schroen! He hit that beautifully from 30 yards and it is crashed somehow into the post. And South, well, I just don't know if they can win it from here, John. Well, David, that would have been the last chance, I think, for the match. The match is deep into injury time. What a hit from Schroen. Oldfield is completely rooted to the spot here, just hoping that will go wide. And luckily for him, it hits the post. Look, look at the goal shake there. What a shot from Marcus Schroen. Unfortunately, it doesn't hit the back of the net. Well, maybe there's a last chance here for Hume City. The ball played forward, and that looked to be quite clearly offside. Chris Taylor's not pleased with uh, the way that Markella seems to be playing a few metres offside every time here and letting the uh, referee know about it. And the ref's coming over to have a word, is he? Well, the ref's been involved with quite a few of the uh, club officials from both sides tonight, and I think he's sending Chris Taylor to the stands. Well, we'll assume that um, he's taken issue with something Chris Taylor has said, and now Chris Taylor's been sent off. And frankly, John, it's getting a bit farcical here. It is getting farcical. Uh, a lot of emotions flying on and off the field in this game. Well, maybe one last chance for Hume. They opt to go long. In fact, no, the chance won't come up for either side. Well, in the end, maybe a draw, a fair result. A fiercely competitive game. South will feel shattered. They didn't get to take one of those chances right at the end. They really pushed after they went a man down. Good to see the players from both sides embracing. There was a lot of passion in this game, so it's good to see the shaking hands now, and there's no hard feelings between the two sides, John. For the fans, frustration, but also I think uh, you know, they'd be pleased with the effort South put in tonight. I certainly uh, 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 would be pleased with the effort, David. I think a draw is a fair result. End-to-end -end game, very attacking from both teams. Um, South, uh, defensive mistakes, I think, led to, led to the Hume goals, unfortunately, for South. But in saying that, the team fought really well, especially with 10 men, and I think they'll take a lot of positives out from this draw. This week's Melbourne City Toyota Player of the Match award goes to a man who toiled hard all night and made a crucial intervention to make sure South got a point. Well done, Matt Faschini. You know, to all, we went ahead late in the game, looked like we had it. We cop a goal straight away, we cop a red card after that. We play some of the best football, the most passionate attacking football we've played all year and somehow didn't manage to score. So, can't fault the effort, but we just feel like, uh, it, it feels a bit like a loss at the moment. It's pretty poor to go 2-1 up and then concede a goal within 30, 30 seconds or whatever it was straight from the restart. So I think the boys are hurting, which, which you know, we should be. Um, but, like you said, credit to us, we, we fought hard um, with 11 men, with 10 men even. I thought we, we still created and, you know, maybe unlucky not to come away with the three points. But, um, yeah, it's, it's hurting at the moment, for sure. But we showed a lot of fight today and that's, that's a positive. So we'll, we'll take that into next week and we'll be ready for next week. And we will need that next week, uh, apart from um, the disappointment of tonight. Last time we played Bentley, of course, it was a, a dreadful result for us for a lot of reasons. So we'll have a couple of players missing, unfortunately. Milsey, Timmy Mahler, you know, maybe backs against the wall, chips are down. Maybe this is the time to show the true South spirit. Yeah, I reckon I would have been the, the fourth or fifth one to be missing if um, I wasn't on four yellow cards. But look, like you said, you know, we, we, we've missed plays in the past. We've got a big squad here, a deep squad. Um, everyone can come in and do a job, and we've seen that. Uh, the likes of Ketch, the likes of um, Amadou coming in and, and, and doing a job for us. So we've got no doubt whoever plays for us next week will we'll be able to do it. Um, we've just got to believe and carry on with the momentum we've, we've, we've taken the last three weeks. Uh, and like I said, we fought hard today. So we'll be taking that into next week, and we'll be definitely looking for the three points. Fair to say, Matty, it's difficult to know what to, to think and feel after a game like that. So much effort, so much passion and heart, but really not the reward we felt we deserved. No, it's pretty disheartening. I mean, you know, I thought we, we gave it everything and, you know, we're, we're stiff to not come away with the win. I mean, even when we went down to 10, we were, it was like we had bloody 15 men out there. And, you know, everyone gave their all. Um, you know, it's hard to even put into words. I mean, you know, you put everything into it and you, you don't come away with anything. We hit the crossbar. We just miss one and you know, we, we get a draw. We didn't deserve it, but you know, as football, it is what it is. 
Mate, uh, as much as the disappointment's, you know, kicking in now, we've got a huge game next week. Uh, we will be one point at least ahead of Bentley uh, going into the next match, so it's a chance for us to, uh, to maintain our lead on top of the table. Reality is, as disappointed as we are, as hard as it'll be, we have to take it up to them next week. Exactly right. I mean, it doesn't matter who's stepping out. This shirt here that we wear, it's a heavy shirt to wear. And if you don't want to wear it, don't, don't turn up to training and don't play. So, you know, if you're 15, if you're 16, if you're 36, it doesn't matter. Next week... We all get down to Bentley, fans, players, everyone, and we, we get the three points and we get our season back on track because this club's too big to be second. We're, we're first. We're number one every time. And I'm not accepting second. No one should accept second place. So we get down there next week and we give it everything and we get the three points and we lift the trophy in two months.